Hi guys! I have been meaning to make this video for a while so I figure why not have it be like my the first like music related video of my new channel. This is a video talking about um, all the bands that I've met but it'll kind of be like a how to meet bands and like semi gloating about all the bands that I've met. So the first band I actually ever met uh, ever was Phoenix. Like, the second big show that I ever shot and I was there with my friend Renee and my friend Jen and my sister and it was like one in the morning and it was at the Showbox Soto and I was super super awkward like I was the most awkward person in the world they completely changed my mind about what I thought French people were <sighs> Phoenix I miss them okay this hat is bothering me it's very heavy and it keeps falling off my head so oh head rush that was not a good idea I met editors they played at the showbox at the market, and this again was like two and a half years ago. My new friend Catherine wanted to meet them, and she painted a picture of Tom, and she's like really super talented. And so after the show, we were waiting out there, and she like walked right up to them when they came outside, and we're like, me and my friend Lindsay were like, what do we do? Do we go? And so we creeped for like five minutes, and then we finally walked over there. They were super, super charming. Like, I was a lot less awkward. And it also helped that like Catherine had started talking to them, so she kind of broke the ice. Um, so when you're meeting bands and you're super awkward, it's best to do it in groups to begin with. So go in pairs, at least. It's like going to the bathroom in the woods. Just don't go by yourself. The next band I met was actually Spoon. It was kind of a weird night. I remember um, I was there with my friend Renee, who I had also been with when I met Phoenix, um, and she had met Spoon like 800 times. I got there and I went and get my photo pass. There were three stickers that I had, and I was like, why do I have three? One said photo, and then two said after party. And I'm like, what? 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 After party? What? Me and Renee, got to go to the after party in their dressing room. I wish they would tour again more. I need Spoon in my life. It was the first like, I'm not worthy, I'm not worthy moment I had like intensely. Like, uh, mm, I was so, so flabbergasted that I was even there. I think the next band that I met was uh, the Morning Benders, which are now Pop Etc. And I remember the Morning Benders were opening for Broken Bells and my friend Lana was there and she's like, Go meet, th she's like the person who everybody makes friends with and she'll just like talk to people randomly. But she basically like shoved me into meeting Chris Chu um, from the Morning Benders and I actually saw them like four months later and then he remembered me and it was really, really cool. Next was We Are Scientists and I met them finally on the Was Travaganza Thing. I made I made up that name for when my friends and I went to see We Are Scientists in Seattle and Portland and San Francisco. And I had actually interviewed Chris Kane uh, several months before when their album came out for Pop Reckoning, the blog I was writing for at the time. And I was super awkward. Like when I got the interview, it was like the day before I had to give it. So I like got on the message board, the We Are Scientists message board. And I was like, guys, give me questions. I need it now. And in Portland, I was like, yeah, I was, I was like, I'm Abby, I actually write for Pop Reckoning. He's like, oh, you're that Abby. Thank you for your personal and professional interest in our band. Yeah, I met Keith, and I met Chris, and I met Danny, and then we met Aaron Pfenning, Rewards, at the time, because he was touring with them, and that was a lot of good times. Um, he got kind of drunk. One of my favorite times in my whole life was like that whole like two-week period where my friends and I followed weird scientists down the coast. <laughs> The next band that I met um, was Matt and Kim, and that was almost two years ago exactly. And it actually turned out to be like the first show that Andy and I had ever gone to that was like, we were at the same show but we didn't know it. And when I met Matt and Kim, my sister had given me this uh, newspaper from her high school and they had done a memorial for a friend of hers who had, they like, one of the things on the page on the memorial was lyrics from the Matt and Kim song Daylight. And it was one of his favorite songs, one of the kids' favorite songs. And so um, she sent it with me to get it signed by them. And when I met them, they were so nice. Like, the way that they are on stage is the way they are in person. Like, literally the nicest and, like, most jolly and friendly and sunny people in the world. Like, I can't think of anybody who smiles more than Matt and Kim. Next was Lamolo, And uh, they're the first, like, local band that I've met. 
and now they're like on top of the world super awesome like I met them for the first time when they opened for the head and the heart at Numos I think but I met them and then shortly after that I did actually meet the Lonely Forest uh, at a signing that they had at Easy Street Records and John Van Dusen is so nice. Next is another friend of ours, St. Paul de Vance. Um, I've mentioned them in a video before, uh, but they are also another local band, uh, local folk group, awesome people. And meeting local bands is actually, sometimes it's a lot easier and sometimes it's a lot more difficult than meeting like bigger bands because you see them a lot more so like if you make a fool of yourself there's a lot better chance they're gonna see your face like on a day-to-day -day basis than if you make a fool of yourself if you meet like Jack White. Like if you meet Jack White like, like so many people have met Jack White and so if you make a fool of yourself he probably isn't gonna remember but if you make a fool of yourself meeting like a local band that isn't very big it could be slightly more embarrassing because they're like you could see him at Starbucks or Costco or something. The next band I've met is Givers. I met them at Sasquatch like a year and like three months ago. Um, they are amazing oh my god when my friend Susie and I were shooting like a small acoustic set and like the lead singer like introduced himself and then like I ran into them later they like hung out with me when we watched Deer Hunter in the rain and that was pretty cool and it was in like the middle of a field and I'm pretty sure they were high as balls and it was on my birthday too also on my birthday at Sasquatch 2011 I met Macklemore and he signed my CD I was wearing a t-shirt that I won from Tyler Oakley a couple years ago that said I'm the queen of the night and I was like when am I gonna get another chance to wear this t-shirt that on my birthday at Sasquatch so I wore it and then he was like what's your shirt say and I was like I'm the, he's, I'm the queen of the night why are you queen of the night? And I was like, well, it's my birthday. He's like, it's your birthday. So my battery died and I had to go charge it. The next few people I met were just kind of like all in a jumble of like all around the same time. Um, Noah Gunderson, Chris Rolowski, uh, Campfire OK. And I'm really, really glad that I did because I am friends with some of them now. And it is really, really cool to like go to see shows of like people that you're like Facebook friends with. Another band that I have met and that I have talked about plenty of times um, that I am so, so, so glad that I discovered almost a year ago, and that is Lost Lander. I didn't officially meet them until after I made the video about their album, but I discovered their music at last year's Music Fest Northwest, and then I fell in love with it. Another one that I met that I love so much is Someone Still Loves You Boris Yeltsin and I have talked about them in a video several times as well because uh, my picture was in their album and it's pretty fantastic I have to say. When I met them, Phil, he got really really excited that he was meeting me. It was almost like he was fangirly over my pictures. <laughs> he was like, guys, Abby took this picture. This is her. This is her picture in the thing. And he was like, oh, it was so much fun. It was so adorable. At Sasquatch this year, finally, finally, um, I met Hey Marseille for the first time. Actually, when I met Hey Marseille, kind of for the first time, it was happenstance. I went and I saw Pickwick and Campfire OK at the Neptune Theater, and I was about to leave. And then Matt, the lead singer of Hey Marseille, uh, he, like, recognized me from something because I had filmed, like, the, one of their songs at a previous show, and I, like, sent it to their manager and everything. Matt like saw me as I was like walk as he was leaving and he was like hey Abby you recorded that video and I was like yeah that was me and he's like can I give you a hug and I was like totally and so when I like met them later at Sasquatch it was a lot easier to like in formally introduce myself and like talk to the rest of the band. I met Pomplamoose a year and a half ago uh, and that was pretty awesome. I won the chance to actually like be the official photographer for their Seattle show when they went on tour and it was pretty pretty cool I have to say. Natalie is adorable and I love Jack and they were so nice and like me and Andy got to talk to them and I got like free stuff so that's neat. I like free things. I wish they would have come to VidCon because we could have like 
chilled and stuff. Speaking of VidCon, Driftless Pony Club! Bah! We've been to bars with them. All the YouTube people that I have met, um, Driftless Pony Club, Tom Milsom, Raven Zoe, Hank Green, and... Mm, who else? I don't know if I've met anybody other YouTube musicians that are like big famous people. A few months ago at Numos I met Tan Lines. It was like the first time I had been back to Numos in a really 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 long time and we went to go see because of Aaron Fenning and then when we talked to Tan Lines I was like you guys brought me out to Numos for the first time in over a year and they're like well that's awesome. Like right now I am so much more at ease meeting musicians than I used to be because I am friends with so many of them and I realize that when I try to put them on a pedestal it just makes them feel awkward and it makes me more awkward. Like I realize now like the fact that I date a musician and the fact that I'm friends with so many of them and probably the best example of that like how I learned that was when I met Ramona Falls and I made a whole video about Ramona Falls. I actually have a poster right here because I was cleaning up my room the other day but this band when I met Brent I was the most awkward person beforehand. I was like I was that person I was like ah, ah, ah. I made it so much harder than it needed to be but it was so much easier once I got to talking to him. It was the same way before I started singing like before I like started singing with Andy like I was so nervous before getting on stage but once I got on stage I was like this is fine. It's so much scarier before you're actually doing something than when you're actually doing it. Like when you're doing something it's like why was I so freaked out to begin with? And then when I talked to Lost Lander several months later I was like talking to them and they were super excited about seeing me again and Matt was like oh hey Brent says hi and I was like what? He, what? He, oh! Mmm. That stuff like that can happen if you just like just let loose and just relax and just don't care at all. A little bit of alcohol helps. I haven't really had a chance to experience the help that alcohol <laughs> gives but I can assume that alcohol will help just a little bit. Another band that I met uh, a few months ago finally sadly like the day that they broke up um, was Bright Futures and I was really sad that I didn't get to meet them before then because I really 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 love their music and Natalie Portman Shaved Head was one of the first like it, I think it was the first local band that I really really got into. It was like Natalie Portman Shaved Head and then The Lonely Forest and then after that it was just like all of these bands and when I met them it was actually I was with my friend Lana again she hadn't even been listening to their music funnily enough and she was like what should I say and I was like I don't know basically she was faking it and she was like I'm gonna miss you guys so much she like went up and gave everybody a hug Lana's a really good person to learn from just just go for it and even if you think you're gonna come off as like a weirdo if you're like super friendly they would much rather you be overly friendly and like normal than like super shy and awkward because it will make them super shy and awkward. I can't think of anybody else now at the moment that I've met but if there are any more I will put a list below. <laughs> oh so many. I was at a party the other day with Alan Stone. That was cool. I think that's everybody and that was a really really long video. Uh, so I will see you guys in my next video. Again thank you for subscribing to my new channel. I love you. Mwah! Bye, guys!